Hi, good morning. It's good to be with you again. And today we're looking at Luke chapter 2, verse 7. Luke 2, 7, it reads, And she gave birth to a firstborn, a son, and she wrapped him in cloth and placed him in a manger because there was no guest room available for them. Now, what this verse is talking about is that the people of those days, they were preoccupied with the things of this world. They were so filled with the worldly things, uh, worldly concerns and things like that, activities, that they had no room in their hearts to receive the Savior of the world and His birth. And in the same way, today in our hearts, in the Christian's heart and the world's heart, obviously, but more specifically, in the believer's heart, yours and mine, many times in our lives, we are preoccupied with the things of this world. We fill our lives with the activities and things of this world that we have no room for Jesus Christ. On Sundays, we may have room for Jesus Christ, uh, but that only becomes a religious activity. But um, on every day, other day of the week, there is no room for Christ in our lives because we fill our lives with the things of this world, entertainment, YouTube, uh, Facebook, uh, not just that, uh, other things that are, in my, in my view, are uh, very, very hindering to our faith. Uh, that is music, secular music, K-pop, these things that will hinder us from drawing closer to God. Uh, they entangle us and hinder us in our faith in Jesus Christ. God wants you and I to get deeper with Him, draw closer to Him. He wants to reveal His glory, His power, His love to you in, in greater measure, in ways that you and I have never experienced before. He wants to take us there. And we can't receive Him because these things, these wonderful, great promises, because we are not... Uh, we are not looking for him we are so preoccupied in our hearts we're so filled with other things and so what god wants you and i to do is empty ourselves of these things that would hinder us empty ourselves of all the worldly things that so fills us and consumes us that hinders god from coming in empty the empty those things out and let the holy spirit fill you with more of god um just a few verses that Paul writes in 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 23. He says, everything is permissible, but not everything is beneficial. So in your Christian life, my Christian life, remember that everything is allowed. We're, we're, we're free to do what those things, uh, to choose to do these things that may not be sinful. But be sure that they do not hinder us from growing in Christ, okay? Because Paul here says not everything is beneficial. Everything is permissible, we're allowed to do, but they may not be beneficial. They might not be beneficial or they might not be edifying. That's the more exact word, uh, more accurate word. They're not, they may not um, be able to build us up. You and I, we should want things in our lives that will build us up, edify our faith. And so uh, let's throw these things uh, away, empty ourselves of these things. And Paul wrote um, in Hebrews, right? he wrote, let us throw off everything that hinders us, everything that hinders us and so entangles us. So anything that hinders, hinders us or entangles us um, in this world and, and uh, keeps us from going deeper with Christ, let us throw these things off and let us fix our eyes on Jesus. Let us pursue after Jesus and go after him with all of our hearts. One last verse I want to share with you is James 4.8. 4, 4 8 says, draw near to God and he will draw near to you. And so that's a promise from God. If you and I would empty ourselves of the things of this world, right? empty ourselves with the secular music, the K-pop, give these things over, you know, uh, to God. Empty our hearts from these things. God will fill you 
with himself, which is the greatest and most wonderful thing, is he himself will show his glory, his love and power in your life. That you will be so joyful. You'll be so happy as a believer. And that's where God wants to bring you to. So I pray that you will be filled with more and more of Jesus. Uh, today and for the rest of the week and for the rest of your life. Let's go after him. God bless you and have a wonderful, wonderful day.